Next, we're going to look at how to use the stroke command uh, to make dashed and dotted lines uh, as your stroke. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and draw a shape. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to first start off by making an ellipse, just like I did in the previous lesson. I'm going to make that ellipse. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, you'll notice right now it is not assigned a stroke, so I'm going to go ahead and make that be red so it's easy to see. And I'm going to go ahead and move the, uh, the points. Uh, I'm going to increase that the stroke weight so it's easy to see. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my stroke panel. You'll notice over on my screen it looks like three lines. Um, if you don't have that, you can always go to the window menu at the top of your screen and choose stroke from it. Um, if yours appears like this with two little uh, arrows next to it and you can only see the weight, all you have to do is click on those and it'll expand that out. So there's a couple of things we want to point out here. Number one, uh, these things that are called caps. You won't notice a big difference on these until you decide what type of stroke or what type of dash or circle you want around the outside. You also notice how it handles corners. Well, there's no corners on circles, so you'll have to just try that out if you decide to go with something besides a circle. And then lastly, where it says alignment, this will allow you to move strokes to the inside, to the outside, or split the difference. So let's start, first start off by doing just a simple dashed uh, line around it. So all I have to do is click on the dash line part, and then if I put in any amount here for the dash, it'll go ahead and put that in. I have the uh, selection for those to be evenly spaced, but if I want those to not be evenly spaced for some reason, I can go ahead and leave that on. If I'd like for those dashes to be different sizes, I can change this number. So if I wanted it to be six point, you'll notice there's a lot more of them. If I want there to be a larger gap, I can put that in as well. And what will end up happening is it'll uh, make that gap be the same size. So because it's already six point, if I change the gap to something like 10, let's try that one more time, 10, you'll notice now you can see the difference in that gap. Let's say, for instance, I don't want a dash line. Let's say I want circles around the outside. What I can do now is put uh, what's called a cap on, and I can do a round cap, and you'll notice now these appear like elongated circles. If I make this be an extreme, I could make this be zero point with a 10 point in between, and now you see I have circles all the way around. 